In this step, we will give you a brief introduction to what the entire lesson will be about. So, I'm sure that you are familiar with many uh, everyday examples of uh, classical waves. For example, uh, you're familiar with sound produced by musical instruments, uh, where the string of the instrument is set in motion, it's vibrating at some frequency, and these vibrations produce uh, uh, pressure differences in the surrounding air, and these pressure differences then propagate towards your ear, where your, then your eardrum starts vibrating uh, as a consequence, and your brain pro uh, processes this signal as music, which you can then hear. Other examples uh, include uh, waves on water surfaces, and these waves can be very small, produced just by uh, raindrops, or they can be very large, such as uh, uh, waves in the deep sea. Both of these examples of sound and uh, uh, water waves, uh, they require medium to propagate through. So, uh, in, the, in the case of the sound, it's the surrounding air. In the case of the water wave, water is it's the water itself. An example of waves which do not strictly require some medium to propagate through are electromagnetic waves. And these waves include anything from light uh, to uh, radio waves, Wi-Fi signals, and so on. And these waves, not only are they very different in nature, but they produce very interesting and complicated uh, phenomena. They can propagate through space, so they evolve in time. They can interfere with, with each other, and we saw examples of interference in our previous, less, previous module. And uh, they can reflect, they can refract, they can diffract. So they can produce very complicated and beautiful uh, phenomena, which we aim to describe or give you the basic tools of describing. So the main question that we're asking, how do we describe waves in a systematic way that will allow us then to uh, describe all of these phenomena? We would like to do it efficiently and also accurately. So there will be some mathematics involved. And that's the central goal of this lesson. We are going to give you uh, mathematical tools that will allow you to describe wave motion. And most importantly, we will talk about wave propagation. So that's the focus of this lesson. We will uh, give you mathematical description that will allow you to propagate waves in time and see how they change shape or position uh, as they propagate um, in through, through space. So we're going to start with a simple description of um, waves and how to turn stationary waves into moving waves. So we will teach you how to propagate uh, waves forward and backwards uh, in both directions, in one dimension. And we will see that this is a very, it, the description is very intuitive, so it's a very good start. But this simplicity um, limits its applicability. So it's not going to be quite sufficient for uh, purposes of this lesson and this entire module. So then in the next step, uh, we will talk about the wave equation in one dimension. And this is the central, central object of this lesson. This is the central result that we will use again and again in the next uh, uh, lessons. And at first, it may seem a little bit complicated in terms of the mathematical description because it's phrased as a partial differential equation. But we will see that it's very general and it applies to many different scenarios of interest. And we will conclude this lesson with a review of complex numbers. And that's because uh, complex notation is very elegant, so it's very useful. So let's begin.